hello sweethearts welcome to my channel today's video is going to be how to make this lovely top you're seeing on your screen right here it's going to be fun let's jump straight into the video guys for this project i'm going to make two yards of fabric and this yellow part you're seeing here is going to be the down part of the top so the first thing you're going to do now is fold your fabric into two because we're going to be cutting the front and the back together note that the front and the back won't have any opening so having folded into two you fold again four so at this point you're going to take your circumference your highest circumference that is your bust because this is the top we're making so your bust should be your highest circumference having noted that you're still going to take your length of the top like we usually do okay 30 is enough for it then you cut out the part you'll be needing for the bodies so once you've done that guys i went ahead and i ironed it flat because this material is kind of slimy a little because i want i went ahead and i ironed it for everything to be flat and neat so let's take our measurement for your shoulder my shoulder is 18 divided by 2 will give you what? 9. You mark your 9 there. Like I usually will do my tilting method. Fold it into 2. Get your actual measurement. You place it there and mark. Then that same measurement you took, you place it on the armhole as well. Guys, for the armhole curve, you go down by two inches there watch what i'm doing two inches from there and two inches again then you curve so once you've done that the next thing again you're going to do is to get your the length of the top so let's work on the neck so this project is going to be a total neck so you wouldn't be cutting so much on the neck but for start out for you not to make so much or maybe cut so much on the neck you're going to take as small as 1 by 3 or 1.5 by 3 which i took then your shoulder slope you go down by one like we usually do and you connect guys at this point i'm sorry that my chalk is not visible enough but make sure you pay attention when i'm cutting so you understand it much better so having done that the next thing you're going to do from your shoulder you can get your boss point and your waist point 14. so my boss point is 11 from that 11 one quarter of my sec uh, bust circumference is 10 and that of my waist is 8. And I'm as well going to add 2 2 extra inches for sewing allowance. So I haven't done that, I'm going to connect. So let's cut guys so for cutting you're going to start from your shoulder your armhole cut through to your armhole like I'm doing then from there to the length of the top so coming to the shoulder coming to the neckline so I'm going to chuck it well so the lines will be visible so I wouldn't have to cut extras where I don't need. So I had to cut my one point, the one inch I took out, not one and a half, sorry guys, and also the shoulder slope. So once that is done, I'm going to work on the length of the top. Cutting out the excesses on the length of the top and also giving your top that shape, that curvy shape that it needs, just like I'm doing right now, guys. You wouldn't want your top to have that sharpie edge that is not sexy and, and neat. 
so can you see this stuff guys we're almost getting is almost getting done so for the front i realized that the neck was too small for what i would want so i went ahead and i removed extra 1.5 out of it making a total of 2.5 i think that would be okay for it maybe i could remove some inches later on but for now i went ahead and i removed little parts of it and i'll cut so that is that for the top so for the sleeve you're going to fold your fabric like you did for the bodies you first fold it into two and again you fold it into four so why you did this is because you'll be cutting the two sleeves together i think the sleeve is is the easiest in cutting like there's no much work to do here then the length of the top is 10 that is it for the weight because it's going to be very free sleeve and also the length of my sleeve is 23 why the width i took 10 for it because i want it to be so free then from the open part of that part from the open part of the sleeve you're going to go in by five inches and you're going to connect just watch it's just the creative stuff there's no magic to it Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, guys? Just hit on that subscription button. The almighty sleeve is ready. So let's work on the band of the neck. So for the band of the neck, uh, the band is going to be like a tie, like a knot that you tie so for that i'm going to take as long as my fabric can go so for that that is 24. you can go as much as you want if your fabric is long enough and i folded it into two and i got out 2.5 ironed it flat and i'm going to cut out that 2.5 i need for the project So that is that so once that is done you're going to hem it with your tissue gum that gum that looks like tissue is usually good on soft fabric silk stuff like that so you iron your band and you notch the middle of it that is it so guys I made this short video for those of us that don't know how to make use of manual sewing machine or people that are new to sewing so you put your thread like i've just shown you and to the bubble and you run your thread like so voila it is ready so let's move into sewing proper for sewing of the top, you need to join the two shoulders together join the front and the back piece together i believe we know how to join shoulders together join the shoulders together and that will be it thank you guys for watching my video i see you guys in the next video the next video is going to be on the completion of this sewing guys i love you guys bye